there guys welcome back to another video of all things apple plus we have a great video to show you guys today a real quick one it's going to be a very simple one on how to maintain your current ios software version without the the crazy and the automatic updates that apple tends to force on you from time to time now if you haven't done so already and you're looking to jailbreak and you want to stay on your current firmware but apple is trying to force uh, 12.1.4 the latest software version onto your iOS device like shown right here I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to lock that how to lock your current software and make sure that there You won't receive any sort of notification or forced updates on your iDevice for free No jailbreak needed. This is gonna be a real simple tutorial now I'm showing you guys currently that I am 12 on 12.1 and uh, I'm getting these notifications for 12.1.4 and I want to stop that immediately. So I want to go, what I want you guys to do is go to navigate over to the website. I'll leave a link into the description below for Apple beta softwares. And this site has every beta software out currently at the moment. And tvOS beta is the one that we're going to be looking to download onto our iDevice. Now tvOS beta, once you download this profile, this software profile, beta profile, excuse me, to your device, this will lock your device at the current version or the current iOS version on it right now. You will have to restart your device, but it will lock your version. So if you are looking to jailbreak and you want to maintain your iOS device firmware or your software, go ahead and download this TV OS beta. Again, I'll leave the link in the description below. Go ahead and restart your phone like I'm going to do so right now. I'm actually going to cut the video in just a moment, restart my phone and come back to it. That way, you, that way you guys can see that there won't be any sort of automatic updates to my device. So let me go ahead and cut the video about right now. All right, and we're back. And we have still the notification to update to iOS 12.1.4, but I'm gonna show you guys that there won't be any sort of automatic updates to my iDevice. So let's go ahead and navigate over back into settings. We even still have a notification for the update as well too. So let's go ahead and go into profiles and device management. And then you can see that the tvOS 12 beta software has downloaded. We've you know, restarted our device. And then navigating over to software updates, you'll see that 12.1 is the up-to-date version that's currently out. And that beta software profile is hindering Apple from you know, automatically updating you to the latest, which is 12.1.4 at this moment. Now, if you do see that notification on your guys', you know, under your settings, the best way to get rid of that little notification uh, bar or that little notification button is by going into settings, navigating over into your iPhone storage, and then once your iPhone has completely loaded and it has you know, shown you guys what documents and what apps are taking the amount of memory, you can actually find the software update profile or the actual software update for iOS 12.1.4 or the latest version that you're on and you can delete that giving you guys a little bit some you know giving you some more memory so I, I've seen that it's actually 600 megabytes to download the update but now that I've got that much memory back and then you can see that the actual notification is gone at that point but I hope you guys like this little tutorial this little how-to especially if you're looking to jailbreak this is a great way to just lock your device and keep your device at bay until the jailbreak comes out. But I'll be catching you guys on the next video. Peace.